put the grr in great. Ooh, your wild cats are back in action. You ready for this? I am so ready. Odds and ends, everyone. Here it goes. Laura, I am so sorry that for the first story we're talking about something you do not like. You know what? I was in a good mood and I didn't read the stories coming in and then this shit lands on me. People are asking big bucks for courtroom wristbands from the Depp Heard trial. Is this for real? It's not like it was fucking tickets to Woodstock. It's a court case between two petty motherfuckers. It is. Hollywood brats at their at their worst. <laughs> you know, I didn't prepare much for this story because I knew you'd be flying off the handle. I am just so sick of it. Several of the paper ID wristbands have shown up on eBay, and get this, one was listed for $4,999, one for $4,500, and one for $500. What? Why? I just, I, would you ever pay this much? No. Like, I wouldn't pay this much money for a Mariah Carey ticket for some Somebody who was there, but, but I wasn't there. there. But what? you weren't there. Yeah, is the plan to say, guess what? I was there. You just didn't see me. I was ducked down in the back. Like, no. what is the point in owning this? There's so much greater need in our world. Yeah. Aside from this Depp versus Herd case. I'm serious. Isabella, a woman can now eat real food after 23 years of potato chip sandwiches. <laughs> well, look, that must have been the best 23 years of her life. Yes <laughs> and no. But isn't that crazy that someone could survive 23 years with eating just bread and chips? It was cheese and onion chips. I do like a cheese and onion chip. I used to put chips in a burger at a barbecue. Yeah, they give it that crispness. Mm. So like, good. I used to do that, I get it, but there were other things happening in the sandwich. Yes, exactly. Okay. The woman had ARFID, which is Avoidant Restrictive Food Intake Disorder. Don't know where it come from, but I've just known for the 23 years that is pretty much all I've ate every day. As someone who adores food, yeah. it's crazy to me that there's people who don't like certain foods right. or only like one type of food because I am yeah. could eat the whole world. And is it just potato chips between bread? Between bread. Dump a whole bag of potato chips on one slice of buttered bread, put the other slice on top, put your hand on top of that piece and press down. That is they so showed gross. a picture of it and it was that... literally like 15 sandwiches on the table. And 15 what? <laughs> sandwiches. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> that you were the sandwich queen. <laughs> sandwich queen. I'm having a panic attack that I keep passing gas, but it's your shoes. I'm sorry, There's I know. There's a squeak. They're squeaking, but I need to wear heels next to you. But like I'm freaking out the whole time. Like, oh my God, was that me? Who was that? Otherwise it's, like it's this. An audible squeak. No, put it back on please. Get this, Mountain Dew tested a pickle flavored version of their drink. I want to get angry and be like, why? How useless, that's so stupid, but have you ever chased a shot with pickle juice? No, I have not. It's actually kind of pleasurable, but I don't know if I want carbonation in there. It's one of six <laughs> flavors tested at a marketing outpost in Tennessee. It's described as a sour, sweet compliment to Southern barbecue. The what? <laughs> Did I say Southern? <laughs> Southern! What is Southern? That's how I say it! <laughs> South? <laughs> it sounds like a... a Harry Potter tribe, the Southern. <laughs> oh, Southern. Barbecue in general can be quite heavy and greasy, so like you definitely want something carbonated to cut it. But I don't want it to be pickle. I'll get that from the coleslaw. Or just have a damn pickle. Crunch that pickle have after pickle. your Southern barbecue. <laughs> These were the other flavors. S'mores. Love it. Apple cinnamon. Love it. Elderberry. Huckleberry. I know those are like types of fruits. Yes. I'm your huckleberry. And summer pop. That could be anything. It could be a watermelon cotton candy blend. Every other flavor in their test pack was sweet. And then they got the pickle juice right there. I think they did that to fuck with people. That's what that is. Well, send us some. Yeah. Actually, send us all of those. We'll take the sample kit. Can't wait to swallow it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Well, folks, I'm afraid that's all for this week's Odds and Ends. But we know you have an unquenchable thirst for more, and we're happy to help. Just like this video and follow our channel to make sure you'll soak up every drop we drip. Ooh, yeah, hit that bell, and we'll see you again soon.